what's up guys welcome back do you guys actually know that if you want to remove Buari from seat right now let me read this out to you guys presidential form is now 100 million like 100 million moving on they said female aspirants and persons with disability aspirants are to purchase expression of interest form while nomination forms are free for each position so i mean if a female and or probably you have disability form is free so presidential form is 100 million in total and the governorship form is 50 million and senate form is 20 million naira house of house of representative is 10 million naira and state house of assembly is 2 million naira so youths 35 years and below are to purchase expression of interest form with a 40 percent discount of the nomination form fees and each position so all this money i mean if i have 100 million now and i want to go for the form where is the money going to like where is all this money going to are you guys thinking what i'm thinking hmm. let me know in the comments section what you guys are thinking hmm. hey nigeria i mean let's read the, some comments guys together i said our politics are too expensive obviously politics in nigeria is now gambling if you win you win if you lose you lose if politics is about service, then it shouldn't be expensive. Political parties shouldn't make politics look like an investment. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hey, guys. Have you seen the video of a man that collected everything he bought for his girlfriend because he saw his girlfriend outside with another man sitting down, chilling? Okay, guys. First of all, watch the video right here. Watch it. Okay, welcome back, guys. Have you seen it? He collected the girl's shoe, collected the wig, and he was like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, as a lady, do you think it is right? Because for me, I don't think it is a man's responsibility to like do everything for you. You are a lady. I mean, the hustle is supposed to be as a lady, you have to work, and the man should work so that everything is just come together. You know what I mean. Because, I mean, if the girl was the one that bought everything by herself, why will a man just come outside and co publicly come and disgrace you and just remove everything just because he's the one that bought it for you? He does not even know. Okay, let's say for now, he does not even know the guy that is sitting down. Because, I mean, it might be just a friend that invited her and be like, girlfriend, please, I have a date, or just come and hang out with me. I have somebody that invited me, or whatever the case may be. And she's sitting, chilling, eh? JJ today she's eating now. Uh, I don't know whatever she's eating, but I will mean, just it just came from nowhere and it was just like boom. Like let us read some comments. Let us read some comments. But because I'm sure that even if it's that clothes that I bought for the girl, he's obviously going to remove it without <laughs> checking, like without even wasting time. He's going to remove it and be like, I bought this clothes for you. Can you just remove it for me? So let's just read some, some comments, guys. He said, he said, some, somebody said, when he was buying those things, did you ask if it was his right? You people say fair. Eh, whether it's right or wrong is their business. Make we try to buy some things for ourselves, so let them, make them not carry underwear. Because if not the guy to buy the underwear joint, he will collect them. So, I mean, as a lady, I'm not saying what the guy did is right. I'm not saying what he did was not right. But I mean, as a lady, we have to start doing some things for ourselves to start any money. Because all these guys out there, they don't have joy. I mean, they don't have joy, yo. <laughs> so, I mean, you have to start doing something good for yourself. You don't have to put all your responsibility on a man. And if, men, if you are doing something, a man that is watching this video right now, please, nobody is forcing you to do anything. And if you have done it, come off face. Don't come back and come and tell me to return the wig you bought for me. Mm -mm, that's not right. That's Moving on, guys. It's about this Genevieve, people complaining that Genevieve did not come for with her Dominic's wedding. I mean, like, that is not supposed to be a problem. Am I supposed to be annoyed because my girlfriend or my friend did not come for my wedding? 
or for my occasion like am i supposed to complain if that's their business i mean if you are not available people that are available are important to me than people that are not available okay then if it wasn't present for rita's dominic wedding because I don't know. She was not around. She was busy. That's her business. People should stop coming, dragging Genevieve over what is not. Like, it is not necessary. People should learn how to mind their business. You people should learn how to mind your business. Is she the only one that did not go? My message also too did not go. So, learn to mind your business. Hmm? Little people should learn to mind your business. That's not a problem. Even if she had not gone, I mean, she might be doing something important. She might have her reasons why she does not want to go. If people are just looking at them like a public figures because they are public figures. Does not mean they do have something they are doing or they don't have things that they do. She's not the only one that wasn't present for the wedding. So if that's not supposed to be a problem, but if that's a problem, I mean, check yourself. You where you they complain? She not the occasion where you get for your. For all the Saturdays where everybody they invite now they go. Hmm? 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 No. Definitely not. Now we're going to be talking about one of my favorite celebrity of all time. Wait, let me sing that song first. Hey, yellow, 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 yellow. Jeremy, yellow. Hey, come on. Yellow, 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 yellow. Ignore my voice, guys. Ignore my voice. I'm here to t- tell you the gist, not for me to sing. Hmm? So moving on, Shay Shay, Nigerian superstar, has shared a video of her baby shower and gender review. Guys, it's a girl. Yes, it's a girl. So yeah, everybody was enjoying yourself, playing games. I mean, doing a lot of games, enjoying yourselves. Why they told Shay Shay to carry, you know, this tiny pin like this and a balloon. Hmm? That was that looks like something that is black. Then I use the they told Sheisha to pinch the balloon. Pim! Immediately she pinched it like I mean that that revealed that a baby, I mean the baby, the pregnancy, it's a girl. So I'm happy for her. I mean like I've been liking Sheisha. I don't know why. I just love her. I just love her. I just love her. No hate, no bad blood. She should keep doing herself. I wish her safe delivery. Yeah. So that's about that on Shay Shay. So yeah all. Uh, let me know about all these full gist inside my comment section. Let me know. I mean let us keep doing what we're doing. If you're enjoying it, let me know down below in the comment section. Keep liking this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comments. Yeah. Thank you guys. One, two, three, four.